Over the last five years of persistent conflict, the Army and National Guard's Infantry Brigade combat teams have bore the brunt of this nation's warfighting. Today, the Army has adjusted its core modernization effort, the Future Combat Systems Program, to provide key cutting-edge capabilities to soldiers in both the Army's and National Guard's 43 Infantry Brigade combat teams. These capabilities will provide enhanced situational awareness for both combat and stability operations, precision fires and intelligence for operations amongst the people, and will provide the network to every soldier. The first step to give FCS capabilities to the total force, active and reserves, will provide capabilities such as unattended ground sensors, the non-line-of-sight launch system, the small unmanned ground vehicle, and the Class I unmanned air vehicle. Using advanced vehicle integrated network kits and the ground soldier as a system ensemble, we will bring the soldier to the network, giving vast situational awareness, communication, and decision-making tools at every level of the operational unit. Success achieved during equipment tests and evaluations by the soldiers of the Army Evaluation Task Force at Fort Bliss, Texas, provided confidence and information to support the decision to move FCS spin-out capabilities to the infantry brigades. At least my experience in uh, OIF and OEF is that perception at rest in the population out there. And then how do we, how do we address that? And uh, we think these capabilities will, will certainly help. And uh, Army Evaluation Task Force is here. It's their mission to get the capabilities right and get them in the hands of soldiers out there. The direction that they're trying to go with this is going to really help us out in the future to like say, save a lot of our soldiers and save a lot of our soldiers in the future. It's going to really change, probably change the, the face of war. If we had these sensor systems that would give us advance warning, we can already have our quick reaction force uh, en route to that location before they even have their IED set up, before they have their mortar set up. There was a, a particular intersection that we were, we were patrolling and we kept getting hit there a lot. If we had these, we'd be able to set up a, a sensor field around the intersection that would actually give us like an early warning detection on it. These would have came in real simple, have a team go in at night, put it in there so we can, uh, we can get them before they had a chance to strike again. This capability gives the platoon leader at the very lowest level possible the ability to send up his own unmanned aerial sensor, keep it stationary on site, unlike what the Raven can do right now, and be able to give him the ability to see 360 degrees down below his objective as he's seen it to look behind those buildings so that he can see what's on the other side as opposed to what we have to do in Iraq. To give that same capability I'd have to get on the radio talk down to the company commander feed the information company commander would then have to paint that picture to the platoon leader and by the time he did that two things happened one the information is stale and no longer good because of uh, potentially the target moved and secondly you lose translation when you go through two or three different layers by being here, we get to put this equipment through its paces, we get to beat it up, we get to make recommendations to the one team partners, and then they go back and they make those changes. You know, specific examples being the Sugby, putting a handle on it, making the head so that it automatically locks in a carry mode so it won't come out and get damaged, uh, making it so that it'll still travel even if the head gets blown off or, or shot, the robot can continue to move because there's a camera down in the chassis and the entire uh, system is actually in the chassis, not in the head anymore. This is going to really help us out a lot. If we can get that, that type of technology, where we don't have to necessarily put a lot of our, our men in danger, where we can send something like that to give us like an early warning, kind of give us like an oversight of what's going to happen before it happens. That way so we can have more of a, an educated plan before we go in. I think that future combat systems uh, for the military is where the, the fight is going. Uh, the sensors and the systems that we are currently testing are going to be uh, saving soldiers' lives in, in the near future.